Great moments of superhero cinema to the rescue. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 most rewatched scenes in superhero movies. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at moments in superhero films that fans come back to again and again, be it for their entertainment value, their emotional resonance, or the spectacular action. Because many of these moments are important to the plot of the films, there will be spoilers ahead. Number 20, Puny God, The Avengers. The first MCU crossover film is packed with memorable moments, but this one is the most satisfying to revisit. During the final climactic battle in New York, Thor's villainous brother Loki finally gets taken down a peg in a major way. After getting knocked onto Stark Tower by Hawkeye, Loki is pursued by the Hulk. The Asgardian, ever arrogant, tries to deliver one of his trademark egotistical I'm better than you speeches, but the Hulk is having none of it and proceeds to smash the smug snake around the room. And I will not be bullied by that. It's a wonderful subversion of how villains are usually defeated, and it's hilarious to boot. Puny God. Number 19, Superpower Testing. Shazam! In this unique superhero comedy, troubled foster child Billy Batson gains the incredible ability to transform into an adult superhero. With help from his new foster brother Freddy, Billy goes through a series of tests to determine the exact nature and limits of his newfound superpowers. The tests themselves are quite funny, and the rapid-fire editing style only adds to the hilarity. This scene is an absolute blast to watch, and whether you're a kid or just one at heart, you have to admit you'd probably do many of the same things as Billy. Plus, the whole thing is set to Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, which perfectly sets the tone. Number 18, Joker's Introduction, The Dark Knight. The opening scene of this acclaimed Batman film sees criminals in clown masks robbing a bank. As each crook fulfills the role he's been assigned, he's promptly killed off by another member of the crew. Is it a problem? No, I'm done here. One of the last goons standing tries to get the drop on his accomplice, only to be maneuvered into the path of a school bus by the last clown standing, who is revealed to be none other than the man who hired them, the Joker. What bus drive? Tense and expertly crafted, this opening sequence is like a miniature heist movie inside an amazing superhero movie. And it makes one heck of an introduction of the clown prince of crime. I believe. Whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Number 17, I've Got You, Superman. After a helicopter accident, Lois Lane is left dangling from the edge of the aircraft over the side of a tall building. Down below, Clark Kent makes a quick change into his alter ego, Superman. It's the Man of Steel's first high-profile rescue, and he does it in style, saving both Lois and the helicopter as they fall. Sure, the effects might be dated now, but it's an iconic scene, boasting infinitely quotable lines of dialogue and further elevated by John Williams' score. What the hell is that? Easy, miss. I've got you. you. You've got me? Who's got you? Superman has made some great saves over the years, but even decades later, this is one that continues to stand out. Number 16, Highway Scene, Deadpool. Few superhero movies kick off in quite as memorable fashion as Deadpool. The hilariously on-the-nose opening credit scene is a crash course, literally, in everything that makes the characters so unique. But while this sequence, among many others in the film, is notably rewatchable, our pick goes to the moment that DP dives into the SUV. Maximum effort. What follows is not only one of the best movie fight scenes inside a car, the exchange is also loaded with Deadpool's rapid-fire quips and fourth-wall breaks. Have you seen this man? <laughs> no matter how many times we watch, we can't help but marvel at the absurd amount of collateral damage that ensues. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? Number 15. Quill grabs the Power Stone. Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guardians of the Galaxy aren't your typical superheroes. During the team's final battle with Ronan the Accuser, rather than throw down like you'd expect, Star-Lord distracts the Conqueror by challenging him to a dance-off. What are you doing? Dance-off, bro! Me and you! 
When Drax and Rocket blow up Ronan's hammer, Quill makes a dive for the stone and manages to hold on to it, albeit at a great cost. When the other Guardians join in, they're able to use the stone's energy to successfully kill Ronan. One part hilarious, one part touching, and all kinds of badass. This scene has a little bit of everything that we've come to expect for our favorite misfits. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Number 14. The Snap. Avengers Infinity War. This Marvel crossover felt huge from start to finish. But the snap is the moment that truly rocked cinema goers around the world. After big bad Thanos acquires all the Infinity Stones, the Avengers make a desperate last stand to stop him before he can kill half of all life in the universe. Although Thor comes close, his aim is off. The choice to go for the chest allows Thanos to snap his fingers and commit genocide on an incomprehensible scale. You should have gone for the head. Watching so many of our favorite superheroes fade to dust was a massive punch in the gut the first time we saw it, and it still hurts on repeat viewings. But the iconic nature of the scene keeps us coming back. Number 13. Thor Brings the Thunder – Thor Ragnarok While fighting a seamlessly hopeless battle against his sister Hela, the goddess of death, Thor experiences a vision of his father. Odin reminds Thor that his power comes from within and that his hammer, which Hela destroyed, only helped channel it. That hammer was to help you control your power, to focus it. Thor is then able to break free of Hela, blast her with lightning, and aid his friends by absolutely wrecking Hela's army. Seeing Thor mow through bad guys along with his friend's own awesome moments makes for an amazing ride. But having the whole thing set to Led Zeppelin, that's the cherry on top. Number 12. The Airport Fight – Captain America – Civil War In the third Captain America film, the Avengers are divided, with Cap and Iron Man's factions coming to blows. Now, this might not be the film's final fight, but it's the one fans keep coming back to over and over. Alright, I run out of patience. Underoos! Cap and company are trying to catch a plane to escape an airport, while Iron Man's crew attempts to stop them by force. The clash breaks down into a number of smaller bouts. Superpowers, cutting-edge tech, and expert hand-to-hand -hand combat all combine to spectacular effect, making for a scene that is endlessly rewatchable. And we haven't even mentioned all the verbal sparring. With so much going on, it's easy to miss things, which makes rewatching the scene especially rewarding. Wanna get to them? You gotta go through me. <gasps> Number 11. V's Introduction. V for Vendetta. Now this is how you introduce a character. After being accosted by secret police in a dystopian version of London, Evie Hammond is rescued by a man in a Guy Fox mask. The multiplying villainies of nature do swarm upon him. Her mysterious savior proceeds to dispatch the corrupt policeman with knives, a surprising level of brute force, and some theatrically harsh insults. He then goes on to introduce himself to Evie in an amazingly delivered speech that uses what feels like every word beginning with the letter V in the English language. Vengeful, vivid, and occasionally vexing, V's first scene has style, action, and lines of dialogue that we're happy to hear time and time again. So let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. Number 10. Logan's Death. Logan. Superhero cinema is a genre that often features actors in long-running roles across numerous films. But few superhero tenures have been as long or involved as many appearances as Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So when the character finally meets his end, protecting young mutants from a shady organization in Logan, it hits really hard. Go! Go! We try to remind ourselves that it's a work of fiction, but that's made difficult by the 17 years we spent getting to know and love this version of the character. Logan's final moments, which he spends giving heartfelt advice to his clone daughter, gets us choked up every time. Don't be what they made you. 
The X theme funeral tribute is beautiful and absolutely perfect. Tell her everything's all right. Number nine, Dr. Manhattan's transformation, Watchmen. Most of the heroes in the Watchmen universe aren't super at all, but Dr. Manhattan's abilities make him among the most powerful beings in any fictional world. The blue, glowing, godlike man can reshape himself and the world around him. He also lives disconnected from time. During a narration of his origins, the former John Osterman observes his past, present, and future with little distinction between them. I feel fear for the last time. An accident at a nuclear plant disintegrates the physicist, and his gradual reassembly and reveal help put the awe in awesome, especially as the music swells. Oh God. John? Is that you? Say what you will about this device of adaptation, it absolutely nails the majesty of this character. They call me Dr. Manhattan. Number eight, The Leap, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales is new at the whole being Spider-Man thing. It's understandably a lot for him to juggle alongside schoolwork and parental expectations. And it doesn't really help his self-esteem when he meets other Spider-People who've already been doing it for much longer. Thankfully, an inspiring speech from his father through a closed door leads Miles to escape his bonds, both literal and metaphorical. After making his own spider suit, he takes a leap off a tall building and swings through the streets of New York. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. It's a gorgeous and invigorating scene that's the perfect way to mark his debut as the web slinger and a joy to revisit. <sighs> Number 7. Elevator Fight – Captain America – The Winter Soldier the second Captain America film in the MCU has some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat in the history of superhero cinema. We considered that epic highway fight with the Winter Soldier, but this close quarters combat takes the cake. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? While traveling in an elevator, Cap is surrounded by supposed S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who actually mean to harm him. Steve Rogers manages to hold his own against overwhelming numbers in an enclosed space, before jumping out of the elevator and crashing to the ground. The creative choreography and tension are top-notch in the scene, which has made it a definite fan favorite. It kind of feels personal. Number 6. I'm Batman. Batman Begins. Christian Bale's inaugural outing as the Dark Knight has plenty of rewatchable scenes. But as tempted as we are to include his swear to me moment, we ultimately elected to choose this standout instead. Shortly after donning the cape, Batman pursues a mobster's men as they unload a shipment of drugs from some shipping containers. Batman slowly stalking and picking off the criminals is incredibly cool and kind of terrifying. This is the Dark Knight operating in a manner worthy of his comic book counterpart. Where are you? Here. <laughs> And topping it off by reaching into the head mobster's car and introducing himself? Epic. We're here for it. All day. Every day. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. Number 5. No Man's Land. Wonder Woman. While attempting to go behind enemy lines during the First World War, Diana and her comrades are faced with the challenge of getting through No Man's Land. Our heroine is told that it's impossible to traverse and that the people suffering on the other side simply can't be saved. This is no man's land, Diana. It means no man can cross it, all right? This battalion has been here for nearly a year and they, they barely gained an inch. But Diana decides to do it anyway, shedding her disguise and charging the German lines. Not only is this an amazing action scene, it's arguably also the moment in which the character goes from being Diana to truly becoming Wonder Woman. Can you believe that director Patty Jenkins actually had to fight executives to keep this scene in the movie? Number 4. I Am Iron Man. Iron Man. 
At the end of the first Iron Man, which kicked off the MCU, genius billionaire and inventor Tony Stark is asked to read a prepared statement denying his involvement in the preceding events. Although the official story is meant to be that the man in the suit was a bodyguard, a pointed question from a reporter pricks Tony's considerable ego. I'm sorry, so, Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? So he decides to go off script and defy the traditional superhero secret identity cliché. The line, and the scene as a whole, is emblematic of the character and extremely popular with fans, even becoming something of a catchphrase. The truth is, I am Iron Man. It's also a line he delivered most notably to bookend his story in Endgame, another scene we keep rewatching, heartbreaking though it may be. Number three, the circle shot, the Avengers. Yeah, you all knew this one was coming. During the Avengers' first titular team-up movie, the fledgling superhero group gathers in New York as Loki and his army invades Earth. So, this all seems horrible. After Bruce Banner shares his anger management secrets and punches an alien monster the size of a 747 in the face, the Avengers gather together for an epic pose as each gets ready to fight the coming horde. The scene, and this shot in particular, has become symbolic of not only the Avengers, but arguably the MCU as a whole. No matter how often we see it, it never fails to get us hyped. Number 2. Batman Interrogates the Joker, The Dark Knight Although The Dark Knight is essentially just one rewatchable and or memorable moment after another, this is arguably the scene people come back to the most. Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. Batman is allowed the chance to interrogate the Joker to locate Harvey Dent, and the results are dramatic gold. Heath Ledger's performance is absolutely magnetic. Every line and little gesture from the scene now feels iconic. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. His masterful manipulation of Batman, even as the hero loses his temper and starts beating him, is incredible to watch in action. The scene is mostly just two men talking in a room, but it's some of the greatest and most electric cinema the superhero genre has to offer. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you where they are. Both of them. And that's the point. You'll have to choose. Well, the list is a top 20, not a top 1 million, but here are a few other rewatchable scenes that deserve honorable mention. The Kitchen, X-Men, Days of Future Past. Warehouse Fight, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. The Trench, Aquaman. There are too many up there. On, inside. Thor arrives in Wakanda, Avengers Infinity War. Thor vs. Hulk, Thor Ragnarok. Here we go. Here we go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Final Battle, Avengers Endgame You know, the whole last battle between Thanos and the Avengers is just so loaded with scenes and moments that we honestly couldn't narrow it down to just a single scene. Avengers! Assemble. From Cap wielding Thor's hammer at last, to that triumphant Avengers Assemble, to all the smaller character interactions, there's just so much to enjoy. This battle feels like the culmination of not only MCU up to this point, but also superhero filmmaking in general. 
we have a hard time tearing our eyes away. And with so much happening on screen, there's always something new to be found with each repeat viewing. Heads up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.